In this video, I'll talk about thermal expansion and a coefficient of linear expansion. So what does thermal expansion mean? The term thermal means the heat and the expansion is the change in the shape, size, length, area or volume or even density due to change in temperature. So if an object shape changes due to the change in temperature, then we call it is a thermal expansion. And why does it happen? When you increase the temperature, then the atoms or the molecule inside the material uh, gets more energy and vibrates more vigorously. It has more energy, so it just vibrates. And if it vibrates, then the length of the vibration that we call the amplitude increases. Then the molecules starts in, uh, uh, vibrating with greater amplitude. And as a result, the spacing between the molecules increases. And as a result, if you look at the overall, then it just looks like the object has expanded. So in other words, the only reason that the length of a material changes is because the atoms or the molecules started to vibrate with a greater amplitude with the change in temperature. And in order to measure now how much the length of a material changes due to change in temperature, we uh, use a term called the coefficient of linear expansion. If you know the coefficient of linear expansion, then we should be able to measure the change in length of the object. So how are you going to define it? So let's do it here. So I'm going to talk about the coefficient of linear expansion. Let's, let's say we have a rod here. The length of the rod is Li, which stands for the initial length of the rod. And this is the, the temperature. It should be Ti, not Tf. The Ti. And after hitting, the length changes and we call it the final length, which is initial length plus there is some inc increment in the, the length. And the final temperature here. So this should be Tf here delta t okay so the length has changed so we need to now know a relation between the initial length and the final length or we are going to calculate what is the change in this length here so we're going to use a term called the coefficient of linear expansion and the way it is defined the coefficient of linear expansion that we denote by alpha is the change in length how much there is an uh, increment in the length due to the change in the temperature divided by the initial or the original length and divided by the change in temperature. So from this equation, from this equation, we can also calculate the change in the length delta L, which is the change in length. And this is given by alpha, which is the coefficient of linear expansion times the change, uh, the original length time change in temperature. So if we know, if we know the, let me, okay. If we know the linear coefficient or the coefficient of linear expansion, then we know the length, we know the change in temperature, then we should be able to calculate the, the change in length. And for most materials, for most material, this coefficient is constant. Okay, so and it is listed. If you go or Google it, or, or if you have a book, then there's a list of the for all the materials the the value of alpha. Now let's talk about the units. The delta L, which is the dimension of the length, has the unit of, unit of the length, and this is also a length. So this one it cancels out dimensionally. So the unit would be one over degree Celsius. That's what it is given here, or one over Kelvin. And remember, the alpha is constant for a given material. So once we know the alpha, which we can measure experimentally, and if we know the alpha, then we can find out the change in length over any given temperature or even a given temperature range. So this is it for the coefficient of uh, the linear expansion. Again, if you have any questions, 
please let me know and write down your comments or questions in the comment section below the only thing that you need to remember from this video is this equation here these two equations okay so this is thank you very much and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you